Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Carrie Kemp and I am a plus size model in Toronto. Um, this video is a little bit different. It's something that I've never done before. I just got out of the shower, quickly combed my hair, threw some clothes on. Um, no makeup, I haven't prepped my skin, anything like that. But that's what I want to talk to you guys about and as you guys have read um, above or below, wherever, if you're looking on a camera or a computer. Uh, on a camera, on a phone or a computer, um, is skincare. Uh, lately, I've been complimented quite a bit, both in person and online. They're like, oh my goodness, you're glowing. Your skin looks amazing. I had somebody say that I look like I just finished a facial. So this is all stuff that I actually want to talk to you about. So I figured, why not dedicate a whole video to skincare and like showing you what I do, the things that I've done for forever and the things that I've introduced in 2020 because that was like one of my resolutions was like take better care of my skin now that I'm getting older. I'm not old, I'm not saying that, but I'm definitely noticing some like fine lines or was noticing them underneath my eyes. I've had uh, forehead wrinkles for a little while. So I wanted to show you guys what I do, what I use, what's new, what's old, and all that kind of stuff. Nothing in this video is sponsored. I have paid for everything all on my own. Um, so yeah, let's let's get to it. So right now, my face, this is it untouched. There's no moisturizer on it. This is just freshly out of the shower. I didn't even like put a face cloth to it, nothing like that. I do all of that at night. Um, so when I'm done in the gym, I always go to the gym in the morning. Uh, so number one, when it came to skincare, when I was researching was sweating. Like you, uh, natural oils on your skin and that kind of stuff, I guess is really good for um, skincare. And so I've upped my cardio in 2020. Uh, so now I do uh, 45 minutes of cardio at least four days a week. Um, so that alone, I guess is step number one, making sure that I'm staying hydrated. Uh, I am that I've been tracking my water um, uh, more in 2020. So just making sure that I am getting the allotted amount of water in. So those are two things that I have changed, but I'm going to show you what I've done before. So to take my makeup off, I use these Quo and I got like a big package of these, but they're just like little wipes. Um, they're really, really, really thin. They're not very soft. Um, makeup wipes actually wipe the natural oil, like the makeup wipes that you get in the package, actually wipe the, the oil from your face. So they say that you should not use makeup removing wipes at all. So I use this Bioderma, um, makeup removing solution. Uh, it is for sensitive skin, cleans and soothes, uh, non-rinse, paraben free and hypoallergenic. I have been using this for a while along with various different pads. I am not super picky when it comes to makeup pads. Whenever I run out, I just go with whatever is the cheapest and biggest bundle because I just don't like having to stock up a whole lot. So I don't mind these, they don't absorb a lot of liquids, so I'm finding that I am going through my makeup remover a lot slower, which is kinda nice. So I usually use about two of these pads uh, to take my makeup off, and it's my makeup at that point would be about 90% off my face. And then after I've done that, I will use a cleanser so here are the three cleansers I use so this one is the Neutrogena uh, deep clean this one doesn't have any beads in it it's not gonna exfoliate your skin anything like that so that's number one um, if I haven't used an exfoliation uh, rinse in a while I will use one of these two depending on whatever I want to be scented this one is a little bit deeper uh, exfoliation it is the Gardner skin active I kind of like it and then this one has like a sweeter smell um, a little bit light exfoliation this one is an oil-free acne wash so these are the two that I'll use if I want like a little bit more of a scrub 
So I'll put that all over my face and then I will wash it with a thicker, more scratchy, um, it, this isn't a very soft face cloth. It's got like thicker bristles to it. I'm not sure if you can see uh, that, but it is a little bit of a harder texture. And so I will run this underwater and then wipe it all off and then uh, my makeup all comes off after that. So after that, my makeup is 100% off and um, there's that. And so then after my makeup is all off, I moisturize with Clarins. I have been using this for quite some time now. It is an amazing, amazing moisturizer. I absolutely recommend it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, this is probably my fifth or sixth one that I've purchased. So that alone is my nighttime routine. Once I have makeup on and take it off, that is how I take it off and go to bed. So um, a couple things is about prepping your skin. So I don't know if you guys have all seen the video, but I do shave my face with this little guy. And um, basically it's just, I got this off of Amazon. I'm sorry, it might be a little bit dirty. But I do this once a month to once every two months. I don't do it very often. And if you want to see how I do it, just go to the, the my, I shaved my face video. That's how I do it. And this alone takes all the dead skin off my face, which is really nice. Um, as well as it shaves it, which I like a hairless face. So yay. Other than my eyebrows. My eyebrows can stay in my head. But um, yeah, it just gets those like little baby hairs off. Plus it removes all the skin. So basically I will... Um, put water on my face and then go through, do the thing, and then I'll moisturize afterwards just to make sure that uh, my skin stays nice, plump, healthy. So I do that once every couple months, once a month, once every couple months. Depends on if I have shows or not. Um, if I'm working, uh, I like to have my face bare, uh, like no hair. Um, but if I don't have a lot of like shoots and stuff, like professional shoots and stuff uh, booked, I typically will let it go because it does irritate the skin a little bit. So I just don't want to do it too much where it like damages my skin. So I do that and then use the Clarins moisturizer afterwards. Okay, so I go do my workout, I come home, have something to eat, and then I get into my supplements. This is something that I've actually introduced this year and I've noticed a huge, huge, huge difference in my skin just by using this. Um, I don't know if it's this exactly. There have been a couple things that I have added to my skincare routine, which you're gonna see. But um, this one was, I feel like this has a lot to do with the, the appearance of my skin, to be honest. So this is Veggie Greens. Um, I have it in the flavor Pineapple Coconut. And so basically what you do, and you have to have it with food, that's number one, I got it at Popeyes, is you take one scoop, just like this, into um, a cup of water. You can add as much or as little water as possible. I usually have about a cup and a half in there of water. Uh, I have like a little shaker glass that I like shake it up in. You can use a protein shaker um, or you can like stir it in a cup. It's totally up to you. I like it to be completely dissolved. Um, so I shake it and then I chugger back and so that I do once a day and then I also take three vitamin C supplements um, this one's just the life brand it's 500 uh, little chewable tablets in here and it asks Scott and I forever like Scott and I both use um, both of these so those are our like supplements or my supplements for the day um, and then I hop in the shower, like I am now, and I, after the shower, my face is dry, I put my hair back, and I'm actually going to show you how I do this. This is something I just got, and um, it is coll collagen and retinol serum. And so it just says to massage two to three drops into clean toned uh, skin before moisturizer and it's to help restore natural plumpness and electric I can't say that word electricity like you know 
el elastic, elasticity, elastic, el English. Um, and then it helps soften fine lines and revive skin's natural radiance. So again, I don't know if it's the veggie greens that are helping or if it's this that's actually doing what it says that it needs to do, but I've noticed there have been some wrinkles underneath my eyes that have completely dissipated and my lines on my forehead aren't as prominent as they were. Now, that could be like from drinking more water, that could be from uh, upping my cardio, like sweating a little bit more, could be from this, could be from veggie greens, I don't know. I also haven't drank a whole lot of alcohol in the last couple weeks. Um, I've been trying to cut back on that. So it could be like a whole bunch of things, but basically I just put, I actually put three drops, so a drop there and a drop here. And then I just massage that in. Make sure you get the nose. So that is completely massaged in. And it kind of leaves your face a little bit sticky. Um, and just like firm. Like it just feel your face just feels firm. It's not soft. It's just like sticky and firm. So once that's on... I got these little samples when I was at uh, Shoppers a couple weeks ago, and it's a little Clarins thing. Um, it's funny because I actually received this moisturizer in a little sample pack, so samples work, people, because I kind of really like it. So this is a super restorative day cream. It's for all skin types, um, and you're supposed to massage it into your face and neck in the morning. It does have a scent, so if you are sensitive, two scents. Um, this is not for you, <laughs> but it has a very nice scent. I, I actually really like the scent. It's more like floral. So if you like a little floral scent, it does smell pretty decent, but it is strong, it is a strong scent. So I just massage that into my face, like so. And I've been doing this every single morning. It doesn't matter how tired I am, anything like that, I make sure I get up and have enough time for my face because I only get one face. I guess I could get surgery and stuff. So now I'm just putting on my moisturizer. Um, but it, I just, I'm not ready for that. I think one day, probably, I'll likely get some filler or Botox. I, I don't know. But um, for right now, I feel like I just don't want to spend my money on that. So, massage that into the face. This one has like a nice, it's not like super scented, but it is a nice clean smell like I would say that it it is classified probably as unscented um but it is there's just like everything has a scent in my opinion and it's just like clean all right so that alone is my everyday um routine um every cup like week to every two weeks I do do a face mask so I'll either do one of those, I don't have any right now, one of those like um, Sephora masks that the wet masks that you just like put on and then you tear off or whatever, or else I'll actually do like a, um, a clay mask. So I have this Sephora clay mask. It is um, exfoliation. So if you have been exfoliating and all that kind of stuff, I wouldn't recommend using this because you don't want to exfoliate too, too much. But I do really like this one um, if I do need an exfoliation mask. And then if I don't need an exfoliation mask, I use one of these two masks. So I got these at Walmart. They are Freeman's Feeling Beautiful masks and I feel beautiful after using them. <laughs> this one is um, uh, lemon and mint. You can feel the mint when it's on it and it just feels so so good you leave it on for five to ten minutes 
seven to 10 minutes or, or until dry. <laughs> and then rinse with warm water. It gives you all the directions on the back, which I always read before doing it. But I do really, really like these. Um, and then I have this one, which is the honey, Manuka honey and tea tree oil. And it is just such a sweet scent and so soft and just, it's very like calming. It doesn't feel like, I don't know, it's just like, it doesn't feel like you have a mask on. It's just like so soft and, and just lovely. And this one you definitely feel because of the mint in it. And you feel it kind of in your eye. If you get it a little bit too close to your eye, you like feel it in your eye and you like sit there with your eyes shut. But um, both of them are amazing. If you do not want that exfoliation factor in your mouth. Oops. I accidentally dropped it. Slipped out my hands. But um, for the most part, that is it. That's all I've changed. That's all I've done. That's all I use. Um, I don't know. I'm going to... This is almost out. I got two of these. Um, and they've lasted probably like two weeks. I think it was about two weeks ago that I went to uh, Shoppers. So I was super impressed. I got like two of these little bottles the last two weeks, a week each. That's pretty impressive. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. I probably won't and see if there is a difference in my skin and see if it is actually doing what it's supposed to do. But everything else I'm... I mean, they're kind of my thing. I'm definitely going to keep doing the greens. I feel amazing. Um, I don't know if it's the greens or the added cardio. I, who knows? Um, but yeah, overall, that's my, that's my skincare. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below. Um, something that I am actually, I'm putting it out there. Uh, something that I am actually interested in doing is interviewing uh, people within the community and just like talking to them, uh, finding their stories and seeing how we're all kind of related, you know? And like, um, this community can be fairly small at times and you can feel kind of alone in the things that you're going through. So I really wanna start interviewing people and just bringing us all together because I think that that's the beauty of this world is that we are all different and we all do go through different things. Um, but at the same time, we're just a big family and we're here to support everybody. And so I want to give a platform to people. So if there's anybody that you actually want interviewed or that you're interested in hearing their story and all that kind of stuff, let me know down below as well. Um, and I will see if they're comfortable enough, uh, being interviewed by the Carrie Kemp you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing weekend. And uh, yeah, that that's it. That's all. I hope 2020 is amazing. Subscribe to my channel, like this video. Um, and thank you all over a thousand subscribers. I am stunned by the, the number there. So literally, thank you. I cannot thank you enough. I love you all. Bye.